It's the 15th of October, 2025. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. In this video, I want to track the growing Medicaid threat as we move forward over the next few months, cover why. Plus, I want to take a look at the pattern finally breaking down for parts of Ireland, the UK, Norway, swinging down through Belgium in the Netherlands. So lots to cover in this video. Now, what I'm watching right now is indicative of what we're going to see over the next few months. We've had storm systems, of course, in the last video, I covered that uh, enormous flood over toward parts of Spain. Well, we're seeing these storm systems riding across the Mediterranean. We have one that will continue to form as we work our way into tonight and tomorrow, shooting across Italy and then swinging its general way toward Albania, watching over toward Greece, for example, as some of that rain moves in. We'll cover the rain totals as well. This is a pattern we're going to see. And as we get more storm systems, the threat for Medicaid's larger storm systems in the Mediterranean will be developing. One of the reasons why the water temperatures, they are running above average. Uh, we expect them to be warm uh, coming out of summertime, so that's not unusual. I'll keep things in perspective in this, uh, on this channel, but they are running above average as a whole. That could add a little extra fuel, extra instability, lift in the atmosphere. That could lead to the higher risk of medicanes or just even regular storm systems uh, developing like we have now. So let's cover what's going on right now. Watching this as we work our way into tonight, southern Italy, keeping an eye on the islands, watching out for some of the heavier rain. This is going to build this spin. It's not, not a named storm system, but it is going to be packing a punch with some rain. Watching Montenegro, Kosovo, uh, North Macedonia, Albania. Watching Greece. Some of that rain moving in. Tomorrow still coming across Italy. Some of this will be heavy. We're going to watch out for the flood potential, which I'll cover in some of the rain totals. Then this will kind of lift its way towards Serbia, Romania, Bulgaria. As it does, it will be weakening, but then watch this. Back to the west, coming out of Spain again. Uh, watching this building swinging back toward Italy. This is Saturday. We're going to see another area develop. This, again, feeding off of some of the warm water temperatures. There's going to be some extra lift in the atmosphere. This will work across the same pattern. So we're going to see this pattern. Uh, it's going to be in place, a little bit more enhanced. So as uh, the season goes on, we'll get a better uh, Medicaid uh, chance. So watching that, but more rain building back toward Greece. Even southern sections will have a possibility of that as we work our way into Sunday and staying active in particular southern sections of Italy. And then you see another system that will be sweeping in back toward the west. I want to cover that. That's the pattern that is breaking down. Now, looking at the winds in this, there is a little circulation sitting right in here. Again, nothing too terribly strong for the most part. The winds will be gusty. Don't get me wrong, but we're not looking at a Medicaid at this uh, point. But watching this storm system, I like to use this map. It just shows that circulation. And you see some of the winds in here, some of the white showing up, especially over water or along the uh, coastline as we get into uh, later tomorrow. Some of the gusts could be as high as about 70 to 80 kilometers an hour. That'll kind of shoot away. But then, as I mentioned, into the weekend, this is later on Sunday, another spin, similar area, a little bit more to the south, another storm system that will uh, move through parts of Italy, building back toward Albania and Greece. So you see that pattern. Patterns oftentimes get locked in. That's why we'll be watching out for this general threat, the flood threat, and the chances of medicanes as we uh, work our way forward. Here's Portugal, Spain, France, watching out for the rain totals. For the most part, it's going to be over here, where all of that action is. This here is through Saturday, so this doesn't even include what's going to happen on Sunday, which we'll be tracking in upcoming videos. But you see those higher totals, some of the blacks, some of the reds getting in here. Those are totals upwards of 20 centimeters of rain. Giving you the heads up, thank you for passing along this information. There's flooding on the way in these sectors, and thank you for subscribing. If I need to put out some updates, if you subscri uh, subscribe, you'll get those updates first to stay on top of this uh, uh, for you. Now, as we work our way out in time as well, the past pattern about to break down. Again, high pressure has been so locked in over toward the UK and Ireland. But as we work our way into the weekend, look at this spin. This one is finally going to be able to nudge in, kind of break that area of high pressure and start to work in a band of rain out ahead of it by Saturday, starting to work into Ireland. We'll see some of the rain lifting up toward Northern Ireland. Storm system sitting over here. Again, some gusty winds with it. Nothing we haven't seen before, but the point being here, the pattern breaking down. Then as we work our way into Saturday night, Sunday, uh, Wales uh, uh, over toward England, uh, back through Scotland, you see some of the rain. Could be heavy at times as well. Watching that in particular, 
particular on Sunday, and then this sweeping across, clipping France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Denmark, and then parts of southern Norway with this broad spin in place, so the pattern about to break, and then more action that is sitting off to the west. And this is kind of tied into that growing Medicaid threat. The pattern this hurricane season has been that up and around pattern with a lot of junk, a lot of storm systems up through here, and that kind of feeds our way, and that's been the pattern. There's a new area off the uh, coast of Africa that'll continue to work its way across toward the Caribbean. We'll monitor that. This here's Lorenzo. That is falling apart, an old tropical storm. This is kind of part of a, what was Jerry, so lots of action out there. We'll be watching that as well. Now, the rain totals, this here is through Saturday. This is the stuff that's going to move across. So on Sunday, this rain here, which could be upwards of about, a, uh, uh, say, uh, uh, 25 millimeters of rain, maybe a little bit more in spots, this is what will eventually be moving through. In the meantime, we're still dry with that area of high pressure or dry for the most part. This is the building rain that I talked about. One storm system moving in, another one back behind it. We'll keep an eye on uh, anywhere from Endora South back through Valencia for that chance of showers. But this pocket in here, over the next uh, few days, that's where we have the greatest risk of that flooding that I've been uh, highlighting. Then up to the north, watching out for some spotty showers, Russia, Belarus, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia. Uh, but we'll see this next spin that will work across. We'll be tracking that as we work our way into next week. Of course, some higher totals watching that over toward Norway. Norway. But of course, Iceland, Norway in particular, watching parts of uh, Sweden. This as well is uh, some snow. So not just the rain amounts, but of course, we've got that building snow snowpack in some spots in our northern section. So the Mediterranean in the short term and looks like the long term staying active. Again, a couple little storm systems that are nearby. One sweeping through now, another one developing through the weekend, monitoring those water uh, temperatures uh, because again, we've got that up and around pattern in the Atlantic with hurricane season. Things have been kind of pushing our way and we'll see that growing Medicaid threat. Hurricane season, by the way, goes through the end of November. So really busy pattern, high pressure breaking down. Got a couple areas we're watching in the Mediterranean uh, together. I'll be watching your comments, put your location, what kind of weather you got going on, even if it's on the uh, quiet side as we build this weather community together. And again, thank you for subscribing. Hope you're doing well. Have a good rest of your day.